In today's video, we are going to learn about delta and how it forms and what are the types are there. Now, where does this delta word came from? This was first propounded by Herodotus. It is basically a Greek word which looks like a pyramid or a triangular shape. Now, how does this delta forms? Delta is basically the depositional features which stucks on the mouth of the river and devotion either in a lake or a sea. Now, there are various sizes of delta. Some are pretty huge, some are not that much, some are very new. But mostly, the properties like vegetal, vegetation cover, rate of erosion, amount of annual rainfall, rock characteristics pretty much controls the size of delta. Like when we talk about vegetation cover, the greater the size of vegetation cover is there, the more the deposition of sediment or the agglomeration of sedimentation happens on the mouth of the river. And the rate of erosion also matters. Also, amount of annual rainfall matters and the rock characteristics. The lithology also matters. There are harder rock, there are softer rock. If there is harder rock, that will be not much prone to erosion, unlike sedimentary rock or the softer part of rock. So, we'll, we get to know what delta is and how their size varies from each other. Now, let, let's see what are the conditions for delta formation. Like, in each and every river mount, you cannot see a delta. There, there should be some specific characteristics behind formation of the delta. Now, there, the site should be very suitable in form of shallow sea and lake shores. The river should be a very longer one. Medium size of sedimentation. Relatively calm or sheltered sea at the mouths of the river. Otherwise, delta will not form. And then, large amount of sediment supply. Accelerated rate of erosion in the catchment area of the concerned river. Almost stable condition of sea coast and oceanic bottom. Otherwise, delta will not form. If, if the river velocity is very high, then delta will not form because of the velocity. It will not deposit the proper amount that a delta is needed to form. Now, further goes on, we can classify delta into various types. These are the types that can be classified on the basis of shape. Acute delta, bird foot delta, estuarine delta, truncated delta, abandoned delta, and blocked delta. Now let's talk about arcuate delta. As you can see in the picture, it is shaped like an arc of a circle or a bow with a maximum middle portion extension towards the sea. Such deltas form when river water is as dense as the sea water. Like we can see on the Ganges River or the Rhine River, Nile River, mostly the very, very longer courses river forms acute delta, like this way. The next type of delta is bird foot delta. Now, Mississippi delta is very famous because it, it is shaped like a bird foot delta. Here you can see in the picture. As I've said, at the name said, bird foot delta, it obviously resembles the foot of a bird or a finger. That is why it is called bird foot delta. Now, moving on to the next delta, which is estuarine delta. As the name suggests, it came from river estuaries. So, how does this form? Due to filling of estuaries of river, this kind of delta forms. When river deposits sediments at their submerged mouths, long and narrow deltas are formed. Namada delta, Tapi delta, Ob, Hudson delta, 
are this kind of deltas. This is how they were formed. Now let's talk about truncated delta. Sea waves and ocean currents modify and even destroy deltas deposited by the rivers through their erosional work. Thus, in this position where sea and ocean coalescence together, if the velocity of C or the erosional walk is C is higher than the riverian walk, then delta formation became slower and thus eroded and dissected deltas formed. And this kind of eroded and dissected deltas are known as truncated delta. Mississippi delta is one of them. Now let's talk about abandoned delta. When river shifts its mouth in the sea or ocean, as you can see in the picture, new deltas are formed while previous deltas left unnourished, such deltas known as abandoned delta. An example of this delta is present delta of Yellow River. It is becoming abandoned because the channel or the river upstream or the river's propagation is changing. Now let's talk about blocked delta. Well, earlier we have learned about truncated delta, which is formed due to sea waves and ocean currents modification. And uh, when the sea erosional process is higher than the river and process, river and velocity, then truncated delta happens. And eventually, a block delta can be formed after this truncated delta. When seaward growth is blocked by sea waves and ocean currents through their erosional activities, then this kind of delta forms. Or the progradation of deltas may also be hampered due to sudden decreases in the supply of sediments consequent upon climatic change or management of catchment areas of concerned rivers. So that is how a block delta forms. And if you find this video informative, then please like and subscribe. Thank you.